didn't hear yet. No. She didn't do Hampshire. Oh, she didn't do Hampshire. That's Linda Dorr. That's Linda Dorr. I haven't heard. It's your turn, dude. I thought it was your turn. Your turn. Like crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Usually I was there. <laughs> All right, we're going to use for Monday, right at 13. We'll start off with the special public safety. Right. January, I was kind of looking at it. <laughs> it's kind of cold out there. <laughs> well, warming might be a thing. Huh? All right, good evening, everybody. I'd like to call the Public Safety Committee to a special uh, committee meeting to order at uh, 6 01 p.m. There's only two proposed action items on here, and in attendance, we have Danny King from the 911 Center. A brief overview. Proposed action items. Pretty cut and dry there, but if anybody has any questions. Okay. Just real quick, the hazard mitigation plan uh, awarding the contract to Crawford Association to update the hazard mitigation plan. It's a plan required to be done every five years. And then the second is finally, we're looking a bit to a Hunter Town Hall radio tower, kind of been making for the last two years. Uh, the, the hunter one is that where there was that fire? What's that? Wasn't there a fire at one of them or snow collapsed on So the hunter mountain shelter had some big roof in her tower. Oh, okay. it's not the same. That was the only tower. Different, right? Right. The right. It's only new tower site at Hunter Town Hall to provide the link between Hunter Mountain and Twilight. Gotcha. All right. Thank you, Dad. Thanks, Dan. Okay, the first one is awarding a bid hazardous mitigation, multi jurisdictional, multi hazard mitigation plan for, for plan update. Martinez. Martinez. Davis. Davis. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Second action item is uh, awarding a bid for the Hunter Town Hall communication site. Lennon. Davis. Davis. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carry. Anything else to come before the special committee meeting this evening? Opposed? Yeah, we are. Eight more days. Eight more days. All right, we'll open up. We have about sixty-eight or eighty days. Okay. Um, open up county services committee at six o four p.m. Have Kyra here. Who this? I don't know if you had anything you wanted to bring up. Okay. Everybody got a report from Kyra. We have Bob Halleck here who wants to speak on the SIP grant. Okay. Halleck, if you could come up front, please. Well, thank you for having me tonight. I thank the legislature for working on I'm uh, coming in right over here just so we can get to it. We need to get you on the camera, so smile. The best uh, smile. Okay. Approve you, but we're here tonight. Well, thank you for having me here tonight. And I want to thank the legislature for providing the county initiative program for several years. 
These funds have helped the society provide musicians, artists, and costuming for events. The past three grant cycles, the rebranding agency, Green County Council on the Arts, has been late in sending out the grant request forms. And 2020 was almost July, with the grant money coming in September. In 2021, it was almost uh, July, and again coming out in August. <clears throat> grant money's totaled $34,000. In 2022, didn't send any forms out. Check the website. We expect that it will come. County hasn't funded it yet. But I made a few phone calls. I sent a letter, letter to the County Administrator, Sean Groden, asking the county to fund our request for $2,500. We adopt our budget in November. We knew the county budget was adopted in November. So we planned on the funds for the year. No way of knowing that the executive director would leave the Council of the Arts. The Council of the Arts would be in some disarray. It's important for the cultural and arts organizations of the county to get a timely application and a timely receipt of funds. If you're planning an event for June, and you get your money in September, it's tough. <clears throat> if the county cannot come to an agreement with the Council on the Arts to continue regranting them, then the Green County Historical Society would be very willing to discuss the possibility of taking over the regrant. I would see this as a short-term thing, that we would get a process established, and then there would be a independent committee that would set up, be set up to administer the funds. I think the county, I think the uh, Green County Historical Society could do it. We've been around for 93 years. Uh, we're financially stable. Uh, we've done a number of things in the county. We have several programs. And uh, we've got three full-time employees. The campus is open year-round. So I'd like you to consider that in the future with your deliberations of how you're going to regret the monies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Bob. It's been an issue the last couple of years. So we'll discuss that. Also, Michelle is here from Veteran Services. Do you have anything? Um, I actually don't have anything for this month, but I do intend to make a report next month of the report. Our, our statistics just came in from the VA, um, and as many of you are well aware, we had several events and and um, well, just even events over the past month. So I definitely will have a report for you. The official twenty one numbers, you mean? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, so I will definitely have a presentation for you for the July County Services Board. Okay. We have only one proposed action item. That is authorizing an agreement Green County Department of Human Services Aging and Columbia County. Community Healthcare Consortium, Inc. True. True. One second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're opposed. Okay. <clears throat> Motion to close. Motion to close by Lou Barrett. Second. Also, take all the works committee on June 29th and 9th tonight. Open public works committee at 6 10 p.m. 
I have Scott Templeton in the house. As long as possible today, so again, sit and listen. Uh, we have several items on the agenda for those action items. Um, I'll just get right into the two first ones and we'll go through the report afterwards, but I think these are um, something that's come up recently with the cost of materials and goods. We missed last time we, we ordered trucks and the distributor for snow and ice control came back and said that they could not meet the quote that they originally quoted us at. So we got those prices. We were a little um, concerned about those, those costs, a little upset that, that they couldn't honor that. So we decided to go back out there and refit it with other distributors. The original snow and ice control outfit was Tenco. We got other prices from Tenco and Viking. Viking was actually almost $12,000 cheaper. So on this resolution, it's to um, switch from Tenco to Viking. It's all through HL Gage, our main manufacturer that's gonna be supplying the trucks. But the additional cost is for the um, stainless steel, supposedly, that Tenco said that the snow and ice control equipment. So those two resolutions, I know, are going to be discussed, I'm sure, after my report. Question. Aren't they on state bid? They, the trucks are on state bid, yes. No one ice control. Right. Isn't the, isn't, doesn't the state negotiate a bid with the particular company? And they say, this is the price. Could you meet it? And they say, yes. It is that not, not necessarily, no. Because I've never for, heard. For a truck, for equipment, vehicles, that's not the... It's every truck is spec'd out different. But we agreed to a price with the company. For the truck, Navistar is holding their price for the truck, the snow and ice control equipment. They are not holding the price. Has this ever happened before? Not to my yeah. mm, well, not we, bid, to, we bid separately. Right. right. It, the snow and the, the salt spreader, plow equipment, that type of stuff is not market up front. It's an aftermarket addition. So so now Vikings coming back, giving Super. you everything you want. Correct. 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 Stainless steel and everything. Correct. For twelve thousand dollars less than the original bid. Correct. So we made out on. No, they're going to. It's twelve. It's twelve thousand thousand dollars difference between the additional cost from Tenco oh. or the additional cost from Viking. Is so it still going to? Is it palatable? I mean, um, the in this market or? I guess in this market. Yes. No, it's not. Mary, I will say this. No. I do a lot of purchasing for the state in my job. And right now, state contracts are on a three month basis. Okay. I just asked the question because yes. I thought the price was the price was the price, but apparently many, not. Many commodities that used to be a one year bid, they're doing now three months. Okay. It's Thanks. if you're asking me if I ever, I've never seen this in my. Okay. Regardless, see, we're not going to see these trucks till 2024. Correct. Jeez, this is just crazy going that far out. You don't know what the hell's going to happen in 2024. Well, at this rate, we won't have anybody to drive. So. <laughs> What's that? I said at this rate, we won't have anybody to drive. So. Exactly. Thanks. Um, okay. I got to tell you, man, at some point, I'm going to be saying no to a lot of crap here because of these price increases and we keep driving up this inflationary measures by saying, yeah, let's spend more, let's spend more, let's spend more. So at some point, we're gonna to have to do without some things. Um, I hope our bills we're doing, especially Kusaki, we're not gonna be you know, facing these continuing uh, calls from our contractors too, to increase the uh, overall cost of that facility too. I don't want to upset you, but cats go, there will be a steel price adjustment. <laughs> we're, we're, they're still trying to figure out what the exact cost is, but cats go with the steel prices fluctuating. I doubt they'll go down, but most likely it'll be an increase in cats go. 
facility on the steel. All right, going into the, there are our bridge projects upcoming, actually 122 bridge over the Casco Creek in the town of Durham. That's in progress and on schedule. 83, 40, and 61 are delayed. What's it, or 83 is delayed, 40 and 61 are in design right now. Timber Lake and Bloomer Road. Timber Lake and Bloomer Road are both, the, we're getting through the right away process right now. So they are still delayed, but it looks like next year construction. Tenor 17 slope stabilization road reconstruction. The road was reconstructed, but there's still stream work to be done. We met with Evergreen Construction last week. They should be mobilizing in the next two weeks to start that work again. What's their window? June 15th to September 30th. Tenor 2 culvert replacement in town of Lex Lexington. Um, that project is actually was let and should start in a month or two. Um, the structure is determining that construction. Tenor 20 as well, the construction should be scheduled by the end of this month to start. Platteflow Road Bridge is under preliminary design. Once that design is submitted, we will contact Town of Hunter and discuss what alternatives and that specific design. I know they had some ideas of what they want to, would like to see with regard to the aesthetics and keeping with the historical aesthetics that it currently has. Um, engineering division is still working very hard to get our paving program up to speed. We're actually way ahead of the game this year. We've actually paved over five, six miles of road. That's This is the earliest that we've ever been out of the gate, which is very good. That's a testament to both the guys in the back getting the bids out, as well as our road crews getting those roads prepped and ready. There was a lot of hard work there by our county employees right on down the line from our maintenance individuals to our assistant engineers. Uh, all those roads he's referring to were, was the, were done in Carroll. Correct. Along with the park and, uh, you know, sharing myself, we personally observe every day. Those guys are really doing a great job. Prepping, prepping was unbelievable. I mean, it was, yeah, they, it wasn't just minimal construction. It was, they were putting. Yeah, there were two major dream right. uh, projects on 23B that we did prior to paving. And right. That was, that's a, a real testament to our, not only our guys in the back room, our engineering division, but the road crew that were yep. doing the construction. It was, uh, you know, great job. It turned out very well. A solid waste. We just to get an uh, update for Kaksaki Transfer Station. We are currently under construction right now. It is on schedule. Um, it looks like we might actually be able to slightly ahead of schedule. I don't want to jinx us, but we looks like we might be getting the building slightly early, which is good. There is a proposal that we need to discuss about closing the Kuksaki transfer station. We discussed this at the workshop last week. The potential would be to close it for roughly 60 working days. That would gain us six weeks in the construction process. That would be closing it completely off to the general public. There's two issues with that. The current layout of where our compactor is in the back of the facility where the waste goes and gets compacted into a trailer. That's where all the electrical equipment is currently located. Once we do the construction for the new building, that's going to put that place that several feet underground, uh, which is going to cause, if it rains, a safety concern for that structure and that building. So we're 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 looking at trying to get that completely closed. You know, but there's several different options of placing a dumpster with just residential drop-off bag garbage and keep recycling. But ideally to close it for that time period would save six weeks in the overall construction. So I think it's an option that I think we should 
look into when do you need to pull the trigger on it? Um, shortly. I'm on board with it. going to break a few things. on board with that. Let's do it. Well, if, if, if you say they can drop the bags off, I think that will continue to. The problem with dropping, dropping the bags off is we don't have a facility for any of our employees to be located to collect the money and throw the money. Where are they going to pay that? It closes it down. Casco. Transform the Casco. Go on to Casco. There's no six weeks. You, you can't guarantee six weeks. Look at look at the gas station at Cooksaki there, Cumberland. That was supposed to be a, about a, a four week deal. They've been there two months with it, putting new tanks and so on and so forth. It's still not done. No. I think that's too long. <clears throat> you better come up with a different dream there or something. <laughs> we can we can do the current current schedule, but it's we're gonna have to come up with that's a busy station. You know it. I think we all know it. There's no way you can put a temporary we, structure in there for the there's of, there's gonna have to be a change orders. There's no only because I can understand Charlie's point more money. That's you know. Well, you know what? I, I mean, when when we had that problem in Hunter, I, I knew it wouldn't fly. Yet. We came up with a good solution. Actually, I you came up with a good solution. There's no way we can. Well, there's always a, it's going to cost. We're going to have to do a change order to put a temporary facility there for which is we're going to require electric because the current electric supply is going through a place where it's going to be a safety concern. Can you do, do it dark, so to speak? I mean, we can. You have no accounting, correct? Okay, concern. But I'm not sure how much change order would be or how much delay would make the project if we, just, if we went manual. You understand what I mean? We run the risk of theft, perhaps, but keep it open in some minimum capacity. Minimum, please, please no. Right. Right. If, you, if any, if at the waiting, most we can do would be residential drop off and recycle. Yeah. Just your trailer, just your kitchen, your 13 gallon, yeah, the generator. 30, 30 gallons. And and you put those things on trail, right? I'm just, I'm just sitting here thinking we got a building right on 9W. I mean, if people have to drive four and a half more miles, five miles out on 9W, why can't we have? Two employees sitting there. They have a bathroom. They have electric. They give oh. it to the employee, yeah. and you throw the bag in the thing. And you mean highway department right there? Yeah. In I mean, you got a building right there. It's all oh, county oh, property. Which one? I'm sorry. Highway what department. By Black Horse. That'll work. So if you go down in there, you set up on the sure. computer. Well, you got 370 mansion too, where you could have power. Yeah. Or the I mean, sheriff's office. But if you put a, you know a couple of containers out there to throw your garbage in there, it's true. Would probably be. Well, 370 you mentioned yeah, yeah. you got power you get you yeah. got a bathroom right? but you need, you need a people, couple bins out there yeah, yeah but the people would just pull in and be able to hand their bags off you don't even need them to yeah. throw it in the hole or whatever you got county employees there they can put it in a container and when it's full you take it away that's temporary that would work yeah. that's oh, not going to cost you a dime right there. yeah i think that's probably an avenue for food that's a good idea Good job, Charlie. Yeah, good job. <laughs> but you, you'd still be winning. You worked it, Charlie. You worked it. Uh, I've raised a couple yeah. of days. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, just bag trash. Bag trash. I don't, I don't even think that's actually good. You don't want to get the response to it. No, yeah. just bag trash. Right there in the village. Just bag trash. They pull in one, pop the trunk, and throw the stuff out, and they go. Right. That's actually a great one. Make it happen. Very good one. No, no. Just be present. There you go. That's why we bring it up. But you could make it happen. And then it'll work. You have to do a factory. Is that number two, three? Yes. Burn it. Here's your shop. Yeah, I'm burned. On the transportation and disposal, we submitted RF or sent out RFPs for transportation and disposal for 2023 moving forward. Um, we received two bids 
Waste Connections and Casella. Uh, Waste Connections was $70.50 and Casella was $115.50 per ton. Um, our current price is $55.66. That's almost $15 more per ton. Uh, at the current level that we bring in, that would cost the county $1.1 million additional in tipping fees. <clears throat> That's excluding operational costs and fuel surcharge, That's labor and equipment for our own personnel, which increases every year. So we're gonna have to do a new price structure on everything from our household trash bags to tires, to appliances, to C&D. Uh, we discussed that at the workshop. Uh, moving forward, September 1st, we're gonna implement that new pricing structure. I know that bag garbage was discussed. We're going to increase it from $2 to $3. As I discussed at that workshop, we haven't raised the price of bag garbage in well over 20 years. So I'm not sure what you know has not increased in 20 years. Our other price points on other items haven't increased in 15 years. So we've held those, those numbers for very long time. And with the current transportation disposal fees that are increasing to the county, we're gonna to have to cover those costs. Uh, we will also be enforcing at the transfer stations the New York, New York State DEC TARP rules. We're getting a lot of complaints of waste on the roads due to <laughs> loads that are not TARP. The law requires them to be tarped coming into our facility, so we, should, we will be implementing a um, additional charge for trucks that aren't. So hopefully that will encourage our uh, haulers and even <coughs> local uh, mom and pops that are don't typically know about this this law to uh, start doing that. Um, you will see the budget amendment for consolidated local street and highway program, the CHIPS. We are increasing quite a lot. We didn't really budget for all the additional funding that we had for Pave New York, EWR, and an additional new program that they set up, Pave Our Potholes. It's as similar as EWR and Pave New York. Not sure why they created a whole new program, but it's additional funding that we have. Um, and that's going to go all into our road construction. So hopefully that'll pay for the slope stabilization on Canary 2, as well as multiple paving projects that we have going on this year. That is uh, what would be your estimated mileage then by year? Uh, we are still estimated of 20 miles. We got about 16 miles of overlay and then we have around four miles of water pave that's 10 i mean the, the fuel surcharge right now is all over the map it really is it's very difficult to try to nail it down as, as far as how many miles we're going to do today i can tell you that we're doing about almost two million dollars worth of paving whether it's 20 miles or 25 miles or 18 miles it depends on the fuel surcharge price of fuel. So that's why it was actually good to get out of the gate and get those six miles completed early. Yeah. Scott, on the county route two, the stabilization, where did you just come up with this company out of Colorado? This is a special technique with, it's a soil nail. They actually insult and install these soil nails that drill into past the slope uh, slide the fault line and it's almost like building a shelf on your wall it pretty much it can levers over the actual slide itself so it's less impact to the right away um, in this specific location on Canary 2 we have to clear a tremendous amount of trees get a lot of uh, permanent right away easements which are very difficult to get nowadays um, this actually is less impact to both the right away as well as if you've been in an area, it's an incredibly steep cliff off the side. Yeah. Um, it's a perfect location for this technique. Delaware County has done this in 
was a dozen locations. They raved about it with this specific outfit. So it's similar to what you're looking at on 61 as well. 60, what we asked them to look at 61. They said that this technique would not be would be good to use in that location just because of the soil conditions and the slope. That one we're going to still have to look at maybe some lightweight fill. And we've done it at the transfer station right now. It's this um, this stabilization for this foam and stuff. It's pretty geo foam. It's called. It's pretty interesting. I've never seen it before. This is the first time I've ever seen it underneath a footing and foundations. It's a technique that they, they use in the right way too. So that's off the table for sixty one. That's back this back under uh, this this technique, yes, but not to be addressed. Next year we're certainly looking to the lower portion with sixty one brick, but the upper portion with geo folding. <laughs> If we can get, get those. Now these these land these road slides that we've had over the course of the last 35 years that have continued and popped up, we need to start addressing them. And this is one we got to start somewhere. Yeah, not, I, don't, I don't think counter route two. That, that's not the first time. That counter route two, we've we've unfortunately that's about to, this paved the over time. multiple 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 times. This is the first time we're actually going in there and doing a construction technique instead of just paving it over and hoping that it <laughs> stabilizes. It is a, a lot of money for one location, but it's not dissimilar to a major bridge project that we have over some of our water. This is simply bridging a, a road slide. Anything else? Yes, the roadside mowing. I tell you, they did. Whoever the heck's doing it, doing a hell of a job. Thank you. Want you to know that. I will pass that along. Get the, uh, the weeds sprayed under the guardrails at the same time. <laughs> That's all. It is. Right. They are scheduled for the twenty fifth. This one that is old, and it is. We're finding that there's. It will address the typical weeds and typical roadside. Um, Guide rail issues that we have, but we are seeing a difference between that the not weed that's out there, which is heavily on the mountain. There's certain couple areas in on 23B in Cairo that the Japanese not weed is, is pretty extensive. They're actually telling us Penn State University has done multiple studies and research projects on it. They've said that actually cutting it is the worst thing you possibly can do to it because it spreads it and it multiplies. Um, there's chemicals that you can do to treat it. But they're supposed to be done at certain times of year. Um, we're trying to get that implemented as quickly as we can. It's, yeah, it's, but, it's, but like you said, you told me today, it takes two or three years. Right. And it takes about three years to really, really get it down 85, 90%. So it's DEP, DEC, other counties, they're all having the same issue with this Japanese knotweed. It's pretty extensive up on the mountaintop and it's causing a lot of problems. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. No resolutions. <clears throat> Post action item number one amending resolution. Number 180-22, authorizing purchase of two new single axle, two wheel drive cabin chassis, including snow and ice control equipment. Why not? What the hell? Thank you, Charlie. I'm wondering if maybe I wasn't loud enough. <laughs> like, second by leg. All in favor? Aye. 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 Hey, that's carried. Number two, amending resolution 181-22, authorizing purchase of two new 
six by four cabin chassis, including dump body and snow and ice control equipment. Move that. Mr. Chairman, just one thing on the, on the final uh, paragraph uh, there, it's 421,000. I don't know why it's not 550,000 on that resolution. Yes. There is some money in the budget. Okay, it's, a, it's an accounting change. Okay. So it's good as it is. Thank you. I, I am lingering. I need a second. Second. I'll second. Barrett? All in favor? Aye. 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 One opposed? <clears throat> yeah, that's carried. <clears throat> number three, authorizing county highway and solid waste superintendent to bid for number two diesel fuel and gasoline. Mark Med. Hobart. Mark Med. Hobart. Anyone in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's carried. Number four, accepting formal proposal from Geostabilization International LLC for the slope stabilization and road construction of County Route 2, Town of Prattsville. Aye. Buellich. Aye. Buellich. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's carried. Number five, awarding the replacement of Cornwallville Road Bridge over the Cornwallville bin, Creek bin number 3303140, Town of Durham. Lennon. Hobart. Lennon and Hobart. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's carried. Number six, awarding the replacement of County Route 2 Covert over an unnamed tributary to Harry Creek, down of Lexington. Aye. Leg. Covert. And who? Covert. Covert. I think we should give it a name. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. The uh, Leg Creek. <laughs> Leg Creek. Anyone in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, that's carried. Number seven, awarding quick quotes for payment contracts under New York State contract. Martinez. Robert Martinez. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's carried. Number eight, authorizing contract for transportation and disposal of solid waste, Seneca Meadows, Inc. Village. Hobart. Village Hobart. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's carried. Number nine, budget amendment, Green County Highway Consolidated Local Street and Highway Improvement Program. Martinez, Lennon. Martinez and Boulevard and Lennon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That's carried. Anything else come before Public Works? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Thank you, Tim. I'd like to call uh, Economic Development and Tourism Committee to order at 639. We have two action items before us. First one being setting the public hearing on the sale of real property located at New York State Thruway Interchange 21. 23B, Town of Casfield, County of Green, State of New York, formerly Thruway Authority property. Any motion on this, Silvera? True. Silvera and True. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Two, authorizing out of state travel, Tim McCann, June 2022, Philadelphia Flower Show. Any motion? True. True and. Sorry. Linger, any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Nice information item. Real quick. We hit a significant milestone last week. Um, we posted the RFP for the solicitation for broadband to unserved households in the county. Posted it on the website on Friday. 
Um, it's pretty technical. And there's a lot of maps in here. I encourage you to take a, a look at it. Um, we've already um, informed all four of the local internet service providers that this is out. And the return date is July 13th. So let's see what kind of proposals we get. The second information item every year, our um, planning department sponsors with Columbia County uh, land use training. And this year's land use training, there's two, one in the spring, one in the fall. Um, we're holding the spring one here at Emergency Services. It's next week on June 23rd. Eventbrite is the online um, tool that you uh, sign up. There's 62 slots. There, um, there's about 50 that are already filled, so there are some spaces available. Um, this year's um, content is, is hot button land use uh, issues. And it's presented by the local government specialists from the Department of State. They come down and they go through uh, training. Um, and it's heavily used by our local um, planning officials to meet their four hour requirements um, um, for service on planning and zoning. So if uh, you know of people that are interested, please have them go to the event right and sign up. Thank you, Warren. Thank you, Warren. Anybody else with anything in for economic uh, development and tourism? Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. And then we are adjourned. Okay, I'd like to open government operations at 642. There are no proposed action items for this month. Does anybody have anything for government operations? Motion to close. Motion to adjourn. Second. Or closed. Stay. Okay. Abstention. Everybody keep still, we'll get through this next one. That's right. Now we better keep still. Please <laughs> pick up the fake check. <laughs> Mike said he's not answering any questions. Mike said he's not answering any questions. Uh, yeah, could you talk about that? <laughs> Ready? All right. Finance committee will come to order. We have uh, several uh, agenda items. First, is setting public hearing sale of real property located at New York State Thruway Interchange 2121B, Town of Caskill County, Green State of New York, one way Thruway Authority property. Hobart. 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 Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Number two, authorize the annual general support funding Green County Historical Society. Bronx Museum and the Michael J. Quill Irish Center Sports Center. Mark Leonard. Has, would like a second? Leonard. Mr. Leonard seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's scary. Number three, awarding bid hazardous, hazardous mitigation, multi justification. Well, whatever. I got it here. Jurisdiction. Jurisdictional. That too. <laughs> right here. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, cold light has plan update. Lavera. Lavera. You went to Lavera. Who's in Lavera? Good team. That's All in favor? Aye. All in favor. is awarding Hunter bid, Hunter Town Hall communication site. Like Mr. Lake, Davis. Davis, Mr. Hobart, seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, that's carried. Five, amending resolution number 180-22, authorizing the purchase of two new single axle, two-wheel drive cab chassis, including snow and ice control equipment. Davis. Mr. Davis. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, that's carried. Six, amending resolution number 181-22, authorizing the purchase of two new six-by-four cab chassis, including Dump body and snow and ice control equipment. Davis. Mr. 
Davis. Mr. Leonard, second to all in favor. Oh, Lake, Lake, Lake second. Oh, Mr. Lake, oh, excuse me. Still got an L there. Well, oh, Democrats, it's okay. <laughs> Democrats, yes, okay. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. All in favor? You know, I have to agree uh, got with Mr. Down. Buellage on this one oh. about buying equipment. They want the time it takes for them to come. And then another thing that you brought up several times is who are going to drive these vehicles. Yeah, you brought that up. And uh, it's something we got to have to take into consideration. Robots. Yeah. That or artificial work. intelligence, right? Wow. Yeah, Harry, Harry's got a showing us a car in Florida to drive this yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's just finished. something to think about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Carry on. Uh, Great summary. Up. Great summary. I don't want to lose control. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven, accepting <laughs> formal proposal from Gaddis Geo Stabilization International LLC for the Slope Stabilization Road Reconstruction County Route 2, Town of Bradshaw. Like the hell of a lot of money. Mr. Leonard? No, Lake. Buellage. Lake. Buellage seconds it. All favor. Aye. Aye. Oh, is that scary? I'm here. Losing my hair. Number eight, awarding the replacement of Cornwallville Road Bridge over to Cornwall Creek, bin number 3303140, out of Durham. Lennon. The yes. Lennon. Second? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. That's carried. Number nine, awarding the replacement county route two over over unnamed tributary to the scary creek town of Lexington. Mike Hobart. Mr. Lake. Mr. Hobart. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Oh, that's that's carried. Number 10, awarding quick quotes for payment contracts on a New York State contract. Martinez. Hobart. Hobart second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. That's scary. 11, authorizing contract for transportation. Spold is all waste, Seneca Metals, Inc. Rivera. Who's for what? Introduce it. Rivera, Hobart, Charlie. Rivera, then Hobart. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, that's carried. 12, authorized agreement with Green County Department of Human Service, Aging, and Columbia County Community Health Care Consortium, Inc. Hobart. Hobart. General? Sure. General seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. 13, authorized agreement, Green County Public Health Department, John Consul, RPH Pharmacy Service. Lavera? Davis. Lavera and Mr. Davis seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's also carried. 14, authorized agreement, Green County Public Health Rabies Prevention Program, and New York State Park Health Rabies Contract. T. Dash three six five three four GG. Lennon. Davis, Mr. Lennon, seconds in all favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed, that's all. 15, authorized extension contract in the County Public Health Department and Health Research Incorporated. Epilepsy. Epilepsy. Yeah. Whatever the hell. It's in laboratory capacity for infectious disease for COVID-19 COVID prevention reopening schools. Mike. Mr. Lake, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's scary. 16, authorized out of state travel, Tim McCann. 22nd, June 22, Philadelphia Flower Show. Lennon's. Davis, Mr. Lennon, second. All in favor? Aye. Oh, that's scary. 17, authorized the county <laughs> says a posting fee regarding 2020 MREM proceeding. Martinez. Hobart. Well, Village. Mr. Buell, we got it. All in favor of that resolution. Aye. Opposed, that's also carried. 18 budget amendment, Green County Highway Consolidated Local Street and Highway Improvement Program. Martin, as would like to second. Davis. Mr. Davis. All in favor. Aye. Opposed, that's also carried. Budget amendment, Green County Public Health Department, performance issues. Senate of Initiative Award, Year 9. Davis. Mr. Davis. Who more? Second, all in favor. Aye. Oh, that's carried. 20, authorization paid claim. Lennon. Mr. 
Aye. Aye. Second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. 21 authorization. Eight claims. Martinez. Hobart. Hobart seconded. All in favor of that? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. That's all the resolutions we have <coughs> with us tonight. Martin 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 and the other item on there is obviously sales tax. It's up, not a great amount, but it's up. And that's all that counts. <laughs> Otherwise, the money's safe. <laughs> what more can that's I say? It is. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> right. I have to mention one thing, okay? Family had a death this week. Deb Gallo's stepson died. And I will tell you that the crew just worked so well together that they really made me proud. Uh, that's why we cross train so that everybody knows pretty much what everybody else is doing. They may not be able to do it perfectly. But I never have to worry about it. And that's a very comforting feeling for me. Thank you. Do you have Thank no questions? Any other questions? Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. <coughs> Any, anything else come before? Motion closed. I need to have a oh. uh, motion for executive session for pending litigation. Lennon, Goldberg. Our own favor. Thank you. 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 Thank you.